Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Case Closed. My name is Etwan Johnson. I want to talk about something here. On today's episode, I'm going to talk about 6 ix 9 s new music video, Trolls, and what was leading up to the music video. Um, he started commenting on Future, McMill, and Snoop Dogg, calling him snitches, calling Snoop Dogg a deadbeat. No, calling Future a deadbeat, and all this other bullshit. And the very first thing I can tell y'all, tell everyone is this. Listen, 6 9 is the same person who put a vi uh, phone vi a phone video of Snoop Dogg talking to another woman. And that ain't snitching. I don't know what is. That's beyond snitching. That's some. That's you affecting someone's family. That is beyond snitching. That is some snitchy shit right there. And some of you fans may look back and say, "Oh well, he had it coming." That shit ain't cool. You do not write another dude's girlfriend and show him another video of you talking to another girl. That is some fuck shit. If that ain't no fuck shit, I don't know what is. And if you defend shit like that, boy, you must be the biggest motherfucking fuck boy in the world. And the problem with um, 6 ix 9 though, is that he does these things. This is what he does. He trolls. And um, I think that even when it comes to Future, him talking about Future being a deadbeat and stuff like that, 6 ix 9 mom, no, baby mom has went on record. His baby mom has went on record saying that he doesn't take care of his kid. He does this. She even called him a deadbeat. So what does that say? So what does that say? And you may say, well, she was fucking the homies. No, she was fucking shoddy. And let's say she was fucking shoddy and all these other motherfuckers in the world. Dude, you, you're there for your kid. As long as your kid ain't around all that bullshit she's doing, hey, go to courts, get custody, do whatever you got to. But if you ain't doing all that shit, then why the fuck you giving a fuck about what the fuck your baby mama do? Really? Dude, this is about your kid, not your baby mom. Dude, you want some... But, like I say, he's young. So he's a little stupid little fuckboy on that. And then you got... um, Then you got him going at McMill. Listen, McMill did his time. He did prison reform. He did a lot of shit. And yeah, he don't like snitches and stuff like that. But Snoop Dogg has done a lot in the black community. Motherfucker, what the fuck have you done? Besides trying to donate money that they gave back because they knew that what you was trying to do. The only reason those motherfuckers gave that money back is not is, is because the character you is and what you do, what you stand for. They didn't want to be associated with that shit. It had nothing to do with you not snitching. It's just what you do. And I and the and the organization was like, hey, feed the kids. Hey, we just don't want your money around what we're trying to accomplish. With the kids and stuff like that. And that makes perfect sense. And people dog them for making that decision. It was fucking stupid. Talk about any money is good money. So should they accept money from the KKK? Come on. Y'all motherfucking stupid as hell. And then, um, and people are right though, man. You are the feds, man. Be Listen, the problem is with 6 9 is he's trying to justify snitching. And you can't do that. Once you get caught doing it, you got caught doing it. Snoop Dogg, everyone else, Meek Miller, no one really got caught doing it. You showing off paperwork about Snoop Dogg, but the problem is, though, man, that paperwork was about somebody's trying to snuff him, and when somebody was trying to snuff him, he went to go tell the cops about it. But the problem was, though, Snoop Dogg didn't write in his murder case. He didn't tell on a fucking soul. So I don't know what the fuck everyone's thinking, like, 6 9 has a valid point. Snoop Dogg already put that shit on record. Then he's talking about Snoop Ignite. But he said Snoop Ignite and him was friends, and he said straight up like if that ever happened me and him would never be friends but you motherfuckers why to believe an old ass g like snoop dogg but believe a motherfucking clown ass nigga like you know. and then let's talk about his music video now his music video was bullshit now i don't care what nobody say if you're a six nine boy and you love those trolls videos and you think that video was awesome you're a motherfucking you're a joke like dude that shit was trash Nicki minaj raps way better than that but she didn't even put no effort into it, nor 6 ix 9 They put a, like a whack-ass beat on there. They started doing what they do, trolling. And that's all that music video was. She bouncing her titties. Now, I love Nicki Minaj. I, like, I look at her titties any day of the week in her ass. But the problem is, though, like, is that all you're going to do in this music video is bounce your titties and try to rap? I mean, shit, Cardi B does this shit way better than you, and she never exposed herself that goddamn much. Even though she has, though, but it's like... Cardi B is just a way better rapper right now than, than that trash that Nicki Minaj just put out with fucking uh, 6 ix 9 This is what I'm talking about. Now, I never make my videos this long and stuff like that, but shit had to be known. And if you a 6 9 fat, fuck, dick rider and you love looking at stupid-ass videos like that, thinking, oh, well, oh, yeah, that shit sound hard. Nigga, that shit sound dumb as fuck. Look at these other music videos that had came out, and you tell me, does that vi is that video really better than those? Really? Come on, man. That shit was trash. But you motherfuckers stay on the 6 9 train and keep trolling like he does. 
See how far I get you in life. Have a good day, America.